Hi, I'm Kristen Cologne, and this is Mickey Cologne. Today we want to show you guys what our inspiration for what Meghan Markle may potentially wear for the royal wedding. So let's get started. So prior to our application, we went through and sectioned right at the nape. We want to make sure that there's enough hair to cover over the extension. So usually about two to three finger lengths above the nape. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our ultimates because we're doing an up style, we really wanna make sure that none of those tabs are showing. Never use an ultimate with another ultimate. You always want to sandwich an ultimate with an original. I would use an ultimate on the bottom when I'm down around the hairline for when I'm pulling up for an up style. I would place it on top when I'm in that top crown section. All right, so a tip whenever you're putting extensions in for an up style, you always wanna make sure that you leave enough space from the natural hairline. So we're gonna do three fingers. On a regular application, we would only do two, but since we know we're really pulling that hair back, we're gonna give a little extra space. But we're also still utilizing our ultimates so that when we are pulling that hair up, it's completely undetectable. We also are making sure that when we're doing our color placement, we're really keeping in mind what our end result is gonna be. And so in this case, I'm wanting to pull all this hair up. So seeing all that dimension flowing through with the extension colors that we've chosen is really gonna give a lot of dimension to the brown hair color, which is sometimes hard to photograph. Knowing I have one more row left in this application, I wanna make sure that I look for the natural split. Every person's hair has that natural split to their natural whirl. So with Raquel's, it only goes to about here. I wanna make sure if I put an extension underneath it, it's gonna be an ultimate and it's gonna be below that whirl, or I'm gonna go one on each side just to make sure that it doesn't show each time she wears her hair down. So for this look, we want to create maximum volume. So one tip is as you're using your curling iron to make sure that you go on top of the barrel, that's going to create volume at the root. If you want to suppress the volume at the root, you want to go under. So what we're going to do first is take down our first row of set curls. And this way we can go through, kind of fan them out, tease them, kind of blow up the volume within them and then we'll do that with each row as we go through. So before you start doing your curling, you really wanna make sure that each curl is facing the same direction. That's gonna give you those Hollywood waves going down so that play into each other instead of against each other. And then like we said, we're going through and just kind of fanning them out, really teasing at the scalp, the underneath to build it up then we're going to go through the bottom and smooth that out at the end. You don't want to disrupt the curl too much at one time because then it can fall out. 
So with teasing the extensions, we wanted to build a foundation on the underneath. So we were grabbing the extension and teasing underneath to really fan it out. Whereas now we want to create volume on the top and then smooth that out to overlay on top of your extension pieces. So you always want to make sure a strong foundation for a tease is going to be what's really going to help you manipulate and really smooth over without breaking down what you've put in. So you always want to take your first section. A lot of people try to start underneath and try to build on top. You always want to start with the very top section, over direct it, and then give a strong tease into the top, you know, from the mid shaft into the base of the hair. Then you want to go the section behind it, same thing, over direct it back into your first section, giving a strong tease at the base into, or from the mid shaft to the base. And keep doing that for each piece. So we're gonna start with pulling back her sides. We wanted like a triangle section from her temple to her ear. We're gonna then split that section in half and do a rope braid. As you go through and do your rope braid, you wanna then release any of the tension by just grabbing a corner and kind of pulling out to expand it. This is gonna give it a really lived in, kind of softer, more romantic style. So half up, half down styles like this are really good for if your bride is going to be wearing a veil, you would just pin it in either above the styling or just below the style. Secure it in with two bobby pins and it's good to go. So we're going into our up style. For this look, we went through and curled and pinned. We've brought it down and we've brushed it out. Now we're gonna start with just our back section. We kind of did a horseshoe all the way from one ear to the other and leaving this top section out. This is all gonna be teased. So when we bring it forward, we're gonna have that nice volume on the top of the head. So we are going to section out each side are we about even? I'm gonna try to create even balance on both sides. So when going through and parting your two sections, you wanna make sure that you smooth it out and ponytail it while it's down. You don't wanna fully pull these apart to expose extensions because everything that we're doing, we're going to be rolling up into the top and securing it. So having it down to where it's just a nice, smooth, seamless look with the extensions in. You're gonna wanna ponytail lower by the neckline. That way you have some wiggle room to work with. Okay, and as Mickey had done, you wanna kind of give a little fullness and pull out some of the tension from the sides just so that it has more volume, a little more lived in look. Then we're gonna take your section and roll it upwards. With this, we really wanna show the dimension that we used in the extensions. All right, so you wanna hold your ponytail right at the curve of your curls. We're gonna put our palm right in the middle of it and flip up. You wanna then expand it out a little bit with your hands and then take your pin and secure it in. Really make sure that you're not just pushing it into the extensions. You want it to be pushed into the hair so it's not putting any tension or hurting your client.
So after you have your first step flipped up and pinned in on each side nice and secure, you're gonna take what's left out of that bottom and you're just going to loop it up and tuck it and pin it. Make sure nothing's hanging out from the bottom using a nice big secure bobby pin, one on each side. If you need to use more, you may. So now we need the two sides to marry together. By using hairpins, we're gonna spread this across and start showing texture within our bottom roll. So now we're moving on to the top that we want this to cascade really soft and loosely over the top. So we're still gonna put in some tees because we wanna have, again, that volume, that foundation. And then we're gonna go through with hairpins and actually go through to create texture with hairspray on the top. And that just makes it look effortlessly done, even though there's a lot of building and foundation to it. And again, starting with your first section, teasing everything over-directed and forward just to give you a strong hold. You're always gonna go through and smooth over any of this. So what this does is creates a very natural texture as if she were to just take her fingers and pull it through her hair. So now we're going to take the last part on her sides and we're gonna pull these back. So we're gonna start twisting our last section, which is our sides back. You wanna twist and then release some of the tension within those so they're really soft, kind of that romantic style. So as we did on her left side, we're gonna do the same on the right. We're gonna split it in half, her front section, her side section, and we're gonna twist and twist it back towards the other side. But we also wanna make sure that we pull out some of the tension just to give it a really lived in soft look. Yep. There we go, add a little texture. And then Mickey's gonna go ahead and pin on this side. And then we're gonna wrap it and tuck it up underneath the hair. Which one do you want? Okay, so then we're gonna remove all of our hairpins off the top. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and spray in there. And then just smoothing all the little flyaways. You still wanna have a lot of texture so it looks a little more effortless but definitely smoothing as you go, securing as you go. Make sure that the top looks balanced. But